Alright, welcome. This is going to be a quick and to the point tutorial how to get started making Minecraft mods in Minecraft Forge and idea, IntelliJ IDEA. So let's just get started. First thing you need to do, you need to make sure you've got Minecraft Forge downloaded from files.minecraftforge.net and you'll see the links in the description below. So you want to download the latest MDK. So this is key. You're going to click MDK and in 5 to 6 seconds you're going to press the button that pops up here and that's how you'll download it. And that'll be a zip file. So then you want to make sure that you've got IntelliJ IDEA already downloaded and this will work on any of these platforms. Get the right one. I use Community and it works great. So once you've got those downloaded, um, we're going to go ahead and I've got my mod directory on my desktop and this is the file I downloaded from Minecraft Forge. I'm going to go ahead and extract it right here in place and right in here, this is already a file, a sample project, complete with even a little bit of source code to give you an example of a mod. So we're going to go ahead and import that into IdeaJ. So go ahead and start up IntelliJ IDEA and press Import Project. Uh, just right here, you're going to click on Build.Gradle. I've already found my directory. Just go in your directory and click Build.Gradle. Just open. Now, this is really important. You want to make sure that this right here, Create Directories Empty Content Roots, is checked, and this one is unchecked. Create Separate Model Per Source Set. Um, leave everything else the same, and go ahead and press OK. Alright, now we have our, our, our basic project opened up. Go ahead and click on sidebar Gradle right over here. Uh, we want to sync our project. So it looks like that's happening right now, so we just need to wait a second until this background task finishes. Great, now that the project has finished, uh, we're going to go ahead into tasks right here in our Gradle sidebar. We're going to go to uh, Forge Gradle and we're going to set up Decomp Workspace. Go ahead and right click on that and press Run. And that's going to set up all the code we need to uh, interface with the Decompod Minecraft. So this is going to take a little bit, so we're just going to wait for this to finish. Okay, looks like that finished, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to press Gen IntelliJ Run. So we're going to run that task. It's going to take a moment to finish. Good, now that all given us our run configurations. We're going to go Edit Configurations, that's right here at the top. Uh, we're going to go here to Application, Minecraft Client, and come to the Use Class Path of Module. We're going to change that to your project. It's OK. Now you can come right here, Minecraft Client. Play and this will run Minecraft with our mod loaded and run inside of it. So we can wait for this to launch. Okay, great. So it launched, which means that our mod, you can see our mod loaded right here. Example mod, mod ID, example mod, which I will show you how to change all of this in further tutorials. Now we're started making our mod. I'm going to go back side of this. You can see that our source code is right here. And this is where we'll get started. Now, how do we actually make stuff? That's going to be in the further tutorials. Go ahead and subscribe for more tutorials coming. They're going to be the same, quick and fast to the point. We're going to help you get it done. All right, great.